existing uh, for your organization. Do you think one of those conditions may be letting Ruth Jefferson go? I certainly wouldn't think so. This has never been part of the discussion with the Office of Economic Opportunity at any time. Do you think your job is secure? I hope not. I'm here on an interim basis, you know that. And you would not want to stay? I've said that for some time. There were two bodies inside the fire. Several cans that had contained flammable liquid inside of the building. Flammable liquid had been spread around in the building. particularly I know about uh, stemming inflation and the Defense Department being one of the big spenders naturally is going to be under great pressures to cut back uh, to the lowest level that's commensurate with what we feel are adequate forces and I think it's important for the people to understand the issues so they can support them as they come up which they will within the next uh, few years like the one horse shea, it will never get obsolete if you keep uh, putting enough money into it to keep it going. It's obsolescent now, and by that I mean it gets increasingly more difficult for it to penetrate, if we ever had to penetrate, the enemy defenses, which are getting better, and more equipment, better equipment, more of it. So. Just when it becomes obsolete, it's hard to say. It depends on your definition. The inner city school program is a relatively new idea, but the core city student is an old problem. The primary effort of the Dallas Independent School District will be to get parental involvement in the inner city, but that's only half a solution. The other half is the teacher. I asked Otto Friday, the director of the program, just what he thought about it. Then I asked Louis McWhorter, principal of James Madison High School, his opinion. Well, one of the key things that we propose to do in this area is to retrain a lot of teachers. We feel that training in how to use new strategies and new techniques of learning is very essential. We feel that some attitudes have to be changed about new procedures and new uh, uh, procedures in this matter of uh, teaching youngsters on every facet of American livelihood that you can think of. To be able to relate effectively to young people is one of the most necessary essentials of a good educational system. If we fail to relate, we're not educating. We have any number of teachers uh, that are very, very good teachers, but nevertheless, I do believe that some of them are geared to the middle class concept, and which is not bad because this is the way that they were taught, and this is the way that they teach. I think that a program should be designed to help these people to teach, and I think that they would do a more effective job in the inner city school concept. In the relative peace and serenity of places like this, it seems almost incomprehensible that it may take acts of violence to maintain them. The Sierra Club is a nationally known conservationist group. Its president is Philip Berry. Mr. Berry said recently he foresees the day when the young people of America, tired of inaction by our legislators, will take the law in their own hands. He says he sees the day when roving bands of what he called Green Panthers will enforce the anti-pollution laws in their own way. A local conservationist, Dallas attorney Edward Fritz, is also concerned about pollution, and he also had some thoughts about the Green Panthers. 
Every man, woman, and child knows about pollution. We see it on television, we read about it, and the picture that's presented is usually seems to be one of the worst proportion. Is it blown out of proportion or is it really that bad? I think it's really that bad. Every stream in Dallas is polluted. Uh, practically every major stream in the state of Texas is polluted. And I believe that we have to spend about 10 times as much as anyone has uh, advocated spending so far before we could solve the water pollution problem alone. Will spending money do it? There have been laws passed, uh, legislation has been offered, some of it accepted, still we have pollution. Uh, is that the answer through legislation and legal action? Uh, no, that's just one index. I believe that the answer is for the enforcement authorities to get busy and to really see that the law is complied with, and if it isn't, to file rigorous lawsuits. What if the laws don't work? I think frustration, uh, particularly among the youth, uh, frustration at the terrible uh, state of the environment that our generation is leaving to them. I believe that they, uh, many of them are very angry, and I believe that it's up to us uh, to prevent any kind of a holocaust, to get real busy in the remaining time that we have here uh, to try to solve all the problems of the environment, the vanishing open space, the increasing water and air pollution, the solid waste uh, pile up, everything that is now uh, tending to deteriorate our environment. Whether they be forceful or militant, conservationists agree that the pollution of our land must stop before a group like the Green Panthers is necessary. The alternative in either case paints a very dark picture. This is Gene Thomas, Channel 8 News on the Move in Dallas. The inner city school program will operate in 34 schools around Dallas that have low-income individuals. The primary purpose of the program is to try and counteract the environment in which some of these students live to increase achievement. The primary goal of the program is to get parental involvement. I asked Otto Friday, the director of the program, just what he meant by that. We want to involve parents in the learning process. Many people think when we say community involvement or parental involvement that we mean parents taking over. Now we don't operate on this thesis. We operate on the basis that our schools will become more effective as parents become involved in the actual learning process and identify themselves with it. This way we're doing two things. We're acquainting the, the parent with what we in the schools are attempting to do for that children. We, as the persons or the people in the schools, are find out what their parents expect. And by putting them two together, we have some common basis upon which we can work. We are enabling the parents to understand the school. We are understanding the parents. We are providing the parents with ways and means of assisting their youngsters as they come home in the afternoon mm -hmm. in the matter of developmental skills. We also provide this parent with educational uplift which will in turn make for a better community. These, I think, are two-fold areas in which the community becomes involved, and as the community be, uh, becomes involved and identifies itself with what the school is trying to do.
transit company has indicated that they're not able to operate at a profit in an existing uh, uh, fare schedule. So it was the purpose of the council today to adjust that fare schedule by allowing a 60 cent charge for Sunday only, hoping that uh, the transit company would be able to operate uh, at least a break even or possibly make a small profit and still afford Sunday bus service to the citizens of Fort Worth. There had been an explosion in the building. Arthur Wind, uh, how do you know there was arson involved in the fire here? The fire department received a call at 237 this morning from police department radio unit that there had been a, an explosion and a fire at 3817 Camp, uh, 5817 Camp Boulevard. I happened to hear the call on the radio at home when I got up and got dressed. And Came up here. We have no identification. He was dressed in Western clothes, large Western belt buckle on. If anyone in the audience knows of a missing person of this description, give us a call. Gary Ford West Fire Department. What's the wind? Do you know of any known? car came driving up and two guys got out and uh they got in the trunk and got a couple of cans and walked in the door i guess they had a key or something and then a little while later i heard the place blow up and the fire was out the window and stuff had you ever seen these two men before no sir i sure hadn't did you sell anyone any gas in cans last night or this morning while you were on duty no sir was there any Noise like there may have been an argument across the street that you could hear earlier. No, sir, I couldn't hear anybody talking. You just heard the explosion and then saw flames. Right. Mr. Miller, we understand that the Office of Economic Opportunity uh, has okayed refunding uh, the Dallas County Community Action uh, Committee. Is this correct? As I understand it now, the evaluation report is not unfavorable, and I will know some specific information regarding refunding tomorrow. When you say not unfavorable, do you consider it to be favorable then to your organization? I hope that it will be a positive report, but I can't talk to the exact nature of it until such time as it's complete and I have it, and I don't have it at this point. Mr. Miller, do you feel secure this evening that you will get the balance of your funds uh, for this uh, fiscal year? Reasonably secure, but until such time as the information is passed along in writing, I would think that uh, I shouldn't be certain, nor should anybody in this agency be certain. Now, we feel that that, uh, that is in writing and is in the mail to you at this time that is not the case. When do you feel you will see it in writing? I hope by the end of the week. Now, if this is favorable to your organization, and apparently it will be, do you take this as a favorable uh, uh, comment on the Ruth Jefferson uh, case? I don't think there's any relationship between the two. In other words, you feel that they would go ahead and endorse the organization even though she is a part of the organization? I would hope so, because the matter of Ruth Jefferson has no bearing whatever on the refunding of the agency. What is your What is your opinion on her case? I won't have any comment until Mr. Burleson finishes his report, and we hope that will be due within the next few days.